hey book lovers and welcome to another reading vlog it is Tuesday today and I'm making a coffee and then I'm going to start reading and continue reading Viridian Gate Online Cataclysm um, I'm about nine chapters in and I'm really enjoying it so far the writing style is really interesting and as a big fan of um, RPGs and MMO RPGs and things like that I really love the way when the main character unlocks a new skill encounters an enemy, um, anything like that, a little text box will pop up and we get to read exactly what he's reading in the game. So, you know, if he, he starts sneaking, he unlocks the sneak skill, it explains the skill, um, it, you know, how much stamina it costs, all that sort of thing when it's available and I really love that, I thought it was cool. Um, Yesterday, I didn't really... Well, yesterday I was reading it, but, um... My husband and I also went to Ikea, and we had dinner, and we picked up, um... A few things, and I bought myself a pretty lamp, because, as I said in my previous vlog, I have no self-control, but I will show you the lamp, because it's adorable. And, yeah. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, and Malcolm and I are here to present to you my newly organized bookshelves. Or bookshelf. See, I don't own a lot of physical books compared to my digital ones, but I thought I'd get them all together. So at the top shelf here, underneath my fort cover, we've got my Harry Potter books. And Tales of Beetle the Bard, which my sister gave me for Christmas a few years ago. Then here we've got the majority of my Discworld books. My copy of Moving Pictures is missing. I know it's around somewhere, so I've left that there so I can put it in easily. And a cute bookmark that says just one of those days, and it's got a puppy. Down here we've got random... Uh, the rest of the Discworld books. The Histories by Herodotus. Uh, Shapestone by James Bibby. My copy of Spellslinger. Tale of Genji. Quiet. First, we make The Beast Beautiful, which is a book about anxiety that my sister gave me. The Princess Bride, so much to tell you and take my word for it. Then we've got The Complete Fairy Tales by the Grimm Brothers. And my Jennifer Fallon books, so there's the Second Sons trilogy and the Tide Lords series. And this is the lamp I was telling you guys about. And it's got a hedgehog, apparently, according to the box, underneath this mushroom reading. Don't know if you can see it. Hang on. No, but the inside of the book says Once Upon a Time. And then the outside of the book says The End, and I just thought that it was super adorable. And it's actually got rechargeable batteries, so I don't even have to plug it in. So I've got that there. Down here we've got my other Jennifer Fallon books, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, and there's a companion, The Heroes of Tolkien, my two Bridget Jones diary books, the two physical copies I've got of Andrzej Sapkowski novels, and down here we've got a cloth-bound Game of Thrones, Wolf Blade by Jennifer Fallon, The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, and The Whisper of Leaves by K.S. Nikakis. I'm sure I've got more books around, but I don't know where they all are, and as you've probably seen on my vlogs, I do read primarily through my e-reader, but I do have these books, and that's my shelf. Malcolm has learned a new place he likes. Malcolm. Malcolm. Stop ignoring us. Hey guys. Um, today I bought some stationery that I thought I would 
show you. Some of it's for me and some of it's actually for a little girl. Um, I grabbed a card off the wishing tree at the local shopping centre, which is... I don't know if you guys have them, but basically it's a Christmas tree covered in tags uh, with some vague details about underprivileged people, so it'll have an age, gender, and what they're asking for. Usually it's something very, very small, um, like a movie voucher, so that they can go to the, see the movies with their friends or take their kid to the movies. And this year, because we've got all our Christmas shopping done already, we actually picked up three tags, and I'm in charge of one of them. Um, because I really connected with it and it's for a little girl who's very isolated and she wants books or some notebooks and pens so I've bought a notebook for her and a pen a, a few pens and I am also getting her a Dimex gift card that she can use online if she wants to or in store if, if she can get to a store and while I was doing that, because I'm a sucker for stationery, I bought some for myself. I was out, I wanted to make notes, and I didn't have a pen or a pad or anything on me, which was irritating, so I bought one while I was there. So, I'm going to show you everything. First up, one for me and one for the girl, is this cute pen. It's got, um, one, two, three, four, five, six different colours in it. And I love things like this because I love being able to do different uh, notes and things in different colours. And I got, they, they had a few different images. They had like a mermaid scale one as well, but I got the same one. So I'm going to test them both. And if either of them have ink that doesn't work, I'm going to keep that one. And the one that works perfectly, I'll give to the girl who asked for it. And I also got a little set of glitter gel pens because... These are always a lot of fun, and gel pens, you know, and they can be a bit annoying to use sometimes, they get smudgy, but they're really pretty, so I don't know what she wants to do with the notebook, and I loved gel pens when I was a kid, I still do, so I thought it would be a good option. This one is for me, it's a keyring notebook, it's all glittery, and it's actually got a ring there, so I can hang it on my bag. And it's little, and just if I'm out and, like today, I want to take notes but I don't have anything on me, this is a good size to just keep on or in my bag. And I thought it was really cute. They had pink as well, but I'm more into blue. Then one of these is for the girl, and one of them is for me. They're these plush notebooks. I'll open one up. I'll keep the one that I open up. Yeah, and it's, it's all fuzzy, like a plush toy. And, oh, that's cute. It's got purple end papers. Oh, and look, little purple tags down the bottom, and the lines are purple, so I'm very happy with that. Purple is actually my favourite colour. And hopefully she'll also really like her one. Then this one was also a purchase for me, because I saw it and I really just, I don't know why, but I really like it. And it's this beautiful notebook. And it's got plastic over the glitter. It's got a elastic tab that you can take off. And I started taking notes in this because I actually had a dream last night that ended up um, expanding itself while I was thinking about it into something that could actually be used as a story. So I've been making notes for that and preparing for that. And I also tried out an exercise today that I read, I can't remember where, but I think it was recommended on Twitter, where you try and describe the area around you as practice. So I might read you my little thing that I did, which was describing the cafe and what was going on in the cafe. The scraping of a chair snapped her out of her reverie, and she looked around the cafe for the first time. She had chosen a relatively secluded corner of the cafe, though the cacophony of the crowded area still reached her. She sat on a bench, slightly too firm to be called comfortable, a latte cooling on the table before her. The cups holding the sugar packets had been replaced with a Christmas variant, candy canes, snowflakes, and mistletoe adorning the surface. She wasn't sure she'd ever seen real mistletoe before. Her bag, Captain America's shield displayed proudly, and her phone lay haphazardly on the table while her shopping sat on the bench beside her. There was no table directly across from her, rather there was a shelf. 
Coffee mugs and chocolates you could buy to take home covered the surfaces, just enough that the clutter looked intentional. Decorative. Her choice to sit here, across from the shelf, had most definitely been intentional. She was happy to avoid some of the crowd so she could focus on her work. Of course, the cute kid nearby engaging her in a game of peekaboo was doing an excellent job of keeping her distracted. She liked the lighting in this cafe. That was part of the reason she had decided to come here instead of going to the Donut King in the food court. It was bright, enough that she could see perfectly, but not glaringly bright like the lights in the food court. They were not so dim that you would fall asleep in the middle of your much-needed hit of caffeine, perfect for a nice time with a friend or date. Also, the tables were much cleaner than the ones in the food court, important for her with her notebook and pen working on a new story idea, when the kid wasn't being so darn cute. So yeah, that's just my little update. I've got a few things I need to do today. I've got to make a character sheet for a D&D one-shot that we're doing on the weekend. I need to film my wrap-up for November and my December TBR, which of course means I need to try and figure out my December TBR that I probably won't stick to anyway. And yeah, that's it. I finished um, Viridian Gate Online Cataclysm today. I really liked it. I gave it a five stars. It was a very quick, fun read. Um, turns out that the genre is called Lit RPG, which I think is literature RPG. So it's like an RPG in a book. And I really enjoyed it. And there's more in the series, so I'm going to continue on. I never got bored. The entire thing was... It was like playing a game. And I just absolutely loved it from start to finish. So I'll be continuing that series and looking out for more. Apparently there's actually a Lit RPG Society on Facebook. So I might go check out their page and see if I'm interested in joining. So yeah, my priorities are the character sheet and working on my wrap-up. I need to get all my thoughts out on that book before I can do it. So see you soon. Hey guys, so I just posted my review of Cataclysm on Goodreads. I try to review every book that I read and put it on here. And I wanted to show you that I am using the book stand that I bought last week that I included in my vlog. And it's been really helpful. So much easier to type off of this than have it just lying down on the side here. And I absolutely love it, so I'm really happy with that purchase. Now I'm about to start my wrap-up for the month. Hey guys, sorry I haven't updated today yet. Um, I had a pretty busy day. It's Friday. This morning I had my psychiatrist appointment, and she decided she wanted me to go get my full bloods done and an ECG because I've got an arrhythmia, just to make sure I was on top of everything. I had to do that. I had to pick up my new script for a new medication I'm trying, grabbed a coffee, and on the bus there was this weird guy that just started talking to me and he asked me, I mean this is kind of rude to ask a stranger I think, but he asked me why I was at the medical centre, so I mean I'm pretty open about my health, so I told him that I was at the psychiatrist. And then he went to ask me why, so I told him because I've got depression and anxiety and well I didn't say anxiety but you know depression and anxiety and then he told me that I was too happy to be depressed he told me that there are people who have it worse than me he told me that people who take medication for the mental health just get addicted to it and it's not helpful at all and even though I didn't even bring it up he also told me that I'd look silly with rainbow hair so shout out to the random dude on the bus for making my day. I'm basically over it now. I mean, it didn't really bother me too much as I was talking to him. I was just sort of incredulous. And, you know, I, I had a script for medication in my bag, which a lot of people who hear that you're at the psychiatrist would think, oh, okay, maybe they were getting checked for medication because that's what a lot of psychiatrists would do. But whatever. Um, came home, ended up taking a nap, which was nice got a bit of a headache. I don't know if it's probably because I had to get up really early and then I had to get a blood test and I'm terrified of needles. So yeah, today's not been the best day in the world, but I'm feeling pretty calm emotionally and I've just filmed my December TVR, which will be going up tomorrow. So now I'm actually going to get to reading. Finally, finally, finally reading The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Super excited. This is actually my favorite movie outside of Marvel and Disney. So I'm keen to see if I like the book as much. Okay, while Malcolm is taking his nap in the sun, I'm going to start decorating my book area for Christmas. 
Yay! And I've read up to page 84 in The Princess Bride. I'm really enjoying it so far. I think I do still prefer the movie at this point. In the beginning of the book, there was uh, a prologue -y part about the fictional version of William Goldman uh, trying to get his son to read the book because his dad read him the book and finding out that his dad actually cut a lot of boring stuff out so he actually goes on to abridge the book and that's the one that uh the final product and it's it's a unique idea but some parts of it were kind of boring and I'm glad I'm into the the thick of the actual story of the princess bride now that I'm more familiar with Okay, I'm going to sit in bed and read for a bit, and I might need to take a nap. I'm getting a bit of a headache. I know I've taken Panadol, and it doesn't seem to be working. I was going to go out and grab a coffee, but I'm not sure I'm really going to be able to, so that's a little annoying, but oh well. Thanks again for joining me this week. I ended up reading another 20-ish um, yeah, pages of 20-ish <laughs> pages of The Princess Bride. I'm going to keep reading that, but tomorrow is D&D day, so I'm going to be doing that all day. So I thought I'd end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you on Friday with my next video. Bye!